In this video, I'll show you how you can view the dependencies between all of your items in CodeWeaver. Through the Traceability Browser, you can track the relationships between all of your trackers. So I'm going to go to the Trackers Overview. Here, I can access the Traceability Browser through this link, or I can just go into one of my trackers and start from there clicking on the Traceability Browser. If I start from here, the initial tracker will be automatically selected, my custom requirements, and then I can add several levels of trackers. For each level, I can add more than one tracker as well. To level one, I'm going to add system requirements. To level two, I'm going to add software requirements, and I'm going to click on show dependencies. And now I see the relationship between all of the, the three trackers. I can also save this current preset if I want to view this traceability browser the same way several times. I already have one saved and I'm going to load that one as well. This is called the entire lifecycle. And here I'm going to see my customer requirements, the further derived system requirements, then the software requirements, the change requests related to those software requirements, bugs that were reported regarding those change requests, and then all the change set trackers. As you can see here, suspected links are also propagated. So if something changes in the relationship, I have to verify that that relationship is still correct. If I go into the bugs tracker, down in the source code management commits, if I open up this little browser here, I can actually see the code that I've committed here and I can comment on every line of code. This way I can see that from this custom requirement, what code has actually been committed. Also, I see that this is a red suspected link. So if I go into the software requirements, I can see the relationships here as well, and I can see which ones are suspected. I can clear this one, click on the little X, and that means I clear the suspected link, and I verify and accept the connection between this and the referenced item. I can also manage suspected links, so if I go back to my system, my traceability browser, and go into the system requirements, here again, I can see the relationships, <clears throat> and here I can clear these suspected links as well. The gray means that this is a, these are here I propagate suspected links and then it will turn red if something changes. Thanks for watching.